I got to tell you this, when the China virus hit and the stay at home order came out, I had this vision of being able to knock out so many projects around the house, so many videos for you guys to digest, but instead, it, honestly, it's just the opposite. I had no desire, no motivation, no interest whatsoever. However, starting today, I'm making a commitment. I promise to you guys that I'm changing that. I'm going to share with you a daily dose of East Coast Classics drivel until I get you guys sick and tired of seeing me, sick and tired of hearing my voice, and, and you hit that unsubscribe button. I'm going to bore you guys to death with a daily video until I can't take it anymore, until you can't take it anymore. And we're going to start that right here, right now. I'm going to show you uh, a little something I picked up. Let's get going. So whenever I sell a car and I make a few bucks, I like to buy a new tool. Sometimes it's something simple like a, a socket set or a breaker bar. Uh, sometimes something more elaborate like a air compressor or the sandblasting cabinet in the garage. This time, since I sold the Aerostar, I made $400 on it. Not a ton of money, but I was, I was glad to sell it. I went out and bought this, a cordless ratchet from Mac, a 3 8 drive. I just got it today. I'm anxious to give it a try. I don't know much about it. I do know that I've been shopping these for a while now. Uh, just casually over at Harbor Freight. They have one $138 or so. They always do a coupon. That was my benchmark on pricing. This one, you see them all over eBay. This one uh, was $200. The ones on eBay are $200 or in that range. This one came from a local repair shop around the corner from here that I like to use for projects and, and jobs that I don't want to do or I can't do myself. RPM on this goes up to 200 RPM. It goes up to 40 foot pounds of torque. Not a lot of torque, but as, as a ratchet, I mean, that's, that's, that's good enough. It's not a breaker bar. It's not an impact driver. It has a charger. It's 12 volt and there's a spare battery also. So here's what I need to do. The exhaust fell apart on this car. Uh, I'm in the Greenbrier and it just split from the exhaust pipe to the muffler came apart and I need to bolt it back together again. It's simply a slip fit and a U-bolt on there that I need to tighten up. Now 40 foot pounds isn't going to get me a whole lot. Put a, a ridge on that pipe. I want to clamp it down so tight that it ridges and uh, it won't come apart that way next time. And so this is going to at least get it started. It has the forward and reverse setting on here. Can you see that? And I think one thing that's really weird about this is that it's so small, you really have to dig your fingers in there. It's just weird, awkward. The one from Harbor Freight, the model from Harbor Freight, instead of having a, a large battery like this, the battery pack slides into the shaft, which is kind of cool, makes it a little lighter, I think, a little more balanced. The Mac version, that's what this is, I'm suspecting will be a little heavier duty than the Harbor Freight model. However, you know, I'm not a repair shop. All I do is just hobbyist stuff. And uh, this is probably overkill for what I need. I think the Harbor Freight model is just fine. I read some reviews about the Harbor Freight guy and, and some people say it's great. Some people say it's a turd. Who knows what to expect from that? But obviously I, I feel confident with Mac. And plus this came from a repair shop that's been used and tried and true. And uh, I feel good about this. So let's go underneath, give it a try. Down underneath the van, there's the muffler. There's the exhaust pipe. There's the clamp. I already put it all back together. Need to tighten it up and let's just see how this thing works. Tell you what, it makes quick work of the job, that's for sure. And it gets it done, but 40 foot pounds isn't enough. The Harbor Freight model does 60 foot pounds, but it runs at a little slower RPM. In terms of a ratchet, you know, I like it. It does the job, but it's not gonna really drive it home, that's for sure. I have to use my, my favorite ratchet. It's a 12 inch Craftsman, um, just to finish it, you know, drive it home and get it done. So let's crank it down. We got it. I got an extra full turn with the 12 inch ratchet. Now, if I put a breaker bar on there, I could probably get another half a turn, maybe a full turn, but I'll probably end up breaking the bolt at the same time. So was it worth spending $200 on a cordless ratchet worthwhile? Yeah, I'm not thinking it really is. Is spending $250 on a sandblast cabinet back there worthwhile? That, you know, and I hardly use that too. But this will make things easier, quicker, less painful for me, less broken knuckles at the same time. The model number for this guy is BRS038. Mac also has a, a smaller version of this as well. And you know, this is pretty extravagant. However, you know, if it makes things easier, it makes life a little easier. Could I resell this for about the $200 that I spent? Yeah, I think so. I think I probably could. Maybe 150, it would go out the door pretty quickly. So hope you liked it. Hope you liked the review. Hope you liked today's drivel. I hope I bored you enough and I'll see you tomorrow.